So is there something that needs to be done based on what the, the events of the past uh, couple of weeks, Secretary? Absolutely. No, no question about it. First of all, the whole issue here is not simply about an individual company or an individual issue. It's about the honesty of the marketplace and the reliability of the marketplace and the danger a defective and dishonest marketplace has to our economy. We're at a time of a contracting economy. Having this type of uh, activity going on the way it is is just unacceptable. There's no doubt. The one thing that everyone in this discussion can agree about, it, there is no reality to these trades and these issues that we've been speaking about. They're not based on anything other than speculation. Uh, and clearly, when the market is engaging in that type of conduct, that is not good. Uh, I think it's a broader question, though. I think the whole issue of shorting has to be addressed. Whether shorting, whether it's by hedge funds or anybody, is in the best interest of the market. Clearly, shorting is going to go on, and we need to have shorting as a defense in the marketplace. But there should be some restrictions on shorting. Maybe it's on the uptick. Uh, the, the, there needs to be a review by the national regulator on shorting in the marketplace. Having said that, in the short run, no pun intended, it is extremely important, I think, to get control of the marketplace back again. I voiced my concern the other day about the effect on unsophisticated investors. Uh, obviously, some of those who think they're sophisticated took offense at that. I'm concerned about the marketplace, though, and I'm concerned about the spillover effect of all of this activity on other aspects of the market, ETFs, uh, other aspects of the market, which weakens the overall situation. This is not a good time to be playing these games. The national regulator needs to get involved here and promptly. In, in addition to that, I think, as I suggested previously, if we didn't trade in these types of issue at all, this particular one I was speaking was GameStop, for a period of time, I think that would have an effect. I'm not just talking about those who trade through Reddit or uh, individual investors. I'm talking about people across the board. There needs to be a review of this entire conduct. This is extremely dangerous to the marketplace and dangerous to our economy. What do you think, Kevin? I don't agree with any of that. The truth is the market has always been a would. speculative place. <laughs> no, but I, I think you have to hear the other side of this, Bill, because at the end of the day, there's some very powerful forces in play here that are actually good. So let me take a shot at it. The definition of the market is speculation. When you buy and stay long a stock, you're speculating the profits you hope are going to come finally appear, and you take that risk. The best thing we could do for this market now is leave it alone and just shine the light of transparency on it. If you are short, let it be transparent. You now run a new risk that these effective social media vigilantes are going to come after you and squeeze you as a short. That's going to make a lot of hedge funds think a second time before they try and go short stocks, which I think is great. But here's the point that I think everybody is missing. Four or five years ago, we had 100 million Americans with nothing set aside for their retirements. We still do. And that's because our educational system, including the one in Massachusetts where I had my kids and they grew up in, best schools in the world, I would argue, they taught them nothing about investing. And then along comes a platform like Robinhood and all of a sudden kids in their 20s and 30s that would never get touched by Money Center Bank or an online broker because they're not a profitable account. They only have a few hundred dollars to invest. Vlad and his team create this platform and now have millions, millions of people learning about the ways of the market and the market, even for sophisticated They're investors. They're learning by losing, though. They're learning by losing. Every uh, investor loses money, Bill. Every loser. You, everyone uh, learns from should, the market. I don't think we... So you're going to protect me from losing money? Are you kidding? You, speculation uh, no, is definition of the market. I don't kid. Yeah, the, the bottom line is, it, is when you put money in harm's way in the market, you risk it. That will always be the way after both true. you and I are gone. And the more regulation you put on it, the more you hurt it. Because some people to investing a millisecond is an investment and others 10 years. And you shouldn't have the right to define it for them. Let the market do that. That's what the market does. If we want viable capital markets, you, let, you have to let the market be the market. Just shine transparency on it. Don't try and make rules that have all kinds of second consequences that you but can't th determine. There is at this no point. transparency. There, there is no transparency here. There is it's no, more there transparent is no today. In that, many aspects. You can't say that what happened over the last 48 hours, the last two trading sessions, wasn't driven by transparency. We've never had millions of people at night talking to each other in social media saying, there's a hedge fund that's short. Let's go get them. You know, you want to stick but it to the no man? I have no problem with it. Made. 
The problem well, is, I think it's in order fine. to have transparency, you have to have some certainty. And there is no certainty in any of this. There's wild speculation well, based on nothing. That is not an honest marketplace. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live with speculation. You're always going to have to have speculation. I can live with based on investing. rationality. Rational speculation is one thing. Dishonesty. How is do not. you know that GameStop executives aren't going to take advantage of this situation and build a brand and make a pivot, just like Netflix did when they were shipping out CDs in the mail? You don't because know. Because they've shown you no have evidence. No idea. Even they haven't, do I. they haven't even raised any capital on it. If they were going to be doing that, why wouldn't they be raising capital now to try to do that? They're not. Well, maybe they will. We don't know. That's the market. My whole well, point is know. if they can That's raise capital at these prices, they should. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.